Welcome you all to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about aberrations of normal development and involution. In a short form, we call it ND. This is a classification for benign breast disorders. So let's look at the basis and the classification itself. The basis. ND is a nomenclature based on the pathogenesis for benign breast disorders. Most of the benign breast disorders are aberrations of the normal development process. Therefore, we can develop a classification such as ND to easily remember the benign breast disorders. What are the stages of breast? The breast goes through the development usually between 15 to 25 years then cyclical change between 25 to 35 years then involution so these stages have been considered during the ND classification so let's look at the classification so while discussing about these we will consider the age groups, the physiology involved in this age group and the aberrations which can occur with the physiology and the diseases which can be give rise with the aberrations. So first let's look at the age group 15 to 25 years. So this undergoes development during this age group. So the development can be lobular development. The lobular development, the aberrations which can give rise with lobular development is fibroadenoma. The fibroadenoma may progress to the disease state or giant fibroadenoma. Then stromal development is another form of development. So the aberrations which can cause by stromal development is juvenile hypertrophy of breast. The disease which can be caused with juvenile hypertrophy is gynecomastia. Then ductal development is also another form of development. Ductal development may give rise to the aberration duct ectasia which is dilatation of the duct. Duct ectasia may predispose abscess formation in the breast. So those are the aberrations and diseases, the benign disorders which can occur during the development of breast. It could be the lobular development, the stromal development or ductal development. And then let's look at the age group 25 to 35 years. During this age group, the breast undergoes cyclical modification. In cyclical modifications, there can be cyclical mastalgia or cyclical breast pain as an aberration and it may give rise to severe mastalgia and also it may cause cyclical nodularity so the cyclical modifications which can occur are cyclical mastalgia or cyclical nodularity as aberrations then let's look at the age group 35 to 45 years. Between that age group, there can be either lobular involution or ductal involution. So this is the age group which undergo involution of the breast. The aberrations which can uh, cause with lobular involution are cysts. With ductal involution, either it could be dilatation and the aberration which can 
be caused with dilatation is ductectasia which is the dilatation of the duct and it may be exposed to breast abscess or periductal mastitis. And also sclerosis can occur with ductal involution and this sclerosis may give rise to nipple retraction as an aberration and also it may give rise to sclerosing lesions and sclerosing lesions may progress to fibroadenosis. So this is the classification which is used in ND or aberrations of normal development and involution. So we discussed about the basis of this ND classification. So it involves the development, cyclical change and involution of breast and the classification between 15 to 25 years of age there's development and there can be lobular development may give rise to the aberration fibroadenoma then the disease state giant fibroadenoma the stromal development may give rise to juvenile hypertrophy and cause gynecomastia the ductal development may cause the aberration ductectasia and may cause the disease abscess from age group 25 to 35 years, there are cyclical modifications which cause cyclical mastalgia or cyclical nodularity and cyclical mastalgia can cause severe mastalgia. From 35 to 45 years, there can be involution, either lobular involution or ductal involution. The lobular involution may cause cysts, breast cysts. The ductal involution either could be dilatation or sclerosis. The dilatation may cause ductectasia as an aberration which may give rise to abscess or periductal mastitis. The sclerosis with ductal involution may cause nipple retraction as an aberration or sclerosing lesions which may give rise to fibroadenosis. So this is the basis and the classification of aberrations of normal development and involution. So let's look at one multiple choice question on this ND classification. So it asks ND classification in NOLS. So here you have to select which of these conditions are involved in the ND classification. So it is very easy question if you know the theory. Answer A fibroadenoma is true. Answer B breast carcinoma is false because ND classification is for the benign breast disorders. Answer C. Breast cyst is true. Answer D. E, fibroadenosis is true. Answer E. Ductectasia is true. So if you know the theory then you can answer these questions very easily. 